Hey guys, welcome back to Sherry's Nail Corner. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can fix a nail that's broken with this Orly Builder Gel in a bottle. So I um, had to cut all my nails the other day and they broke in the corners when I didn't have anything on them. And then this one also snapped right here. And I need them to be long like these for the next video tutorial that I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you how you can do nail extensions and fix little pieces. Um, the tea bag method doesn't work for me and I was never able to figure it out. Nothing ever dried the right way. And so this way is the easiest way that I found to do it. So what you need is the Orly Gel FX Builder Gel in a Bottle. And I got this at a nail salon store that we've got here up in Dallas, Texas. It was like $25 for this, I think. And you can use it a lot. And then you also need um, some kind of prep just to make your nails dehydrated. So that way, whenever you apply all this product, it will stay. Another thing I've got over here are the little nail forms that this company makes for this too. Um, you could use any kind of nail form, it's just a little sticker that you shape around your nail and paint on top of really. Um, you'll need a nail file and since this is an, like an enhancement, um, 100, 180 grit is my favorite to use. And then I've got a glass nail file so that I can kind of just shape my natural nails just a bit. Then you've got this little buffing block. And I don't ever use one that's brand new on my nails. <sighs> this is what a brand new one looks like. And we'll need that later too. So let me get all this out of the way and I'll show you how we're gonna do this. So first you need to rough up your natural nail just a little bit. So just like that. I'm gonna do the thumb also. And then I need to just file a little bit. Um, I want to make this just a little bit more of a straight edge. So that way if it does break more, hopefully more of my real nail won't snap off. And then I'm just gonna make this kind of straighter. There we go. Um, another thing too that you'll need is a little duster brush just to get all the debris off. Next, I'm going to use the Gelish Prep to dehydrate my nails. And you can use any kind of de dehydrate orally cells, like a whole kit. Um, but since I already had that, I only bought this stuff. Okay, the next thing that you'll do is put the little sticker on your nail. So these are a little bit tricky, especially whenever you're doing it to yourself. So just practice with them. Um, there's also actually some that are sold that are reusable and I didn't think about buying those instead because I was like, oh, figure it out. But I was wrong. So you can try those or you can try these and I'll show you how fun this is to put on. Take out this little piece right here. This is the part where your finger goes in. Tear off this little tabby thing and you've gotta be real careful with these. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to fit it onto your finger and have your nail edge go over the sides of this. So since my finger is super short on this um, nail wall over here, it's gonna be super tricky. <laughs> so you just kind of wedge it underneath there and then wedge it under the side where it's shorter because I need the nail in the Orly Builder Gel to come off over the plate. Off over the sticker, I mean, not the plate. So shove that underneath there. Oh, it's so tricky. Let's try that again. And if this nail hadn't have broken so short, it wouldn't have be so, so difficult. But it's a traitor nail. What do you expect? Okay, there we kind of go. Dang. Okay, tuck it under. Then I'm going to stick this to my finger right there. 
Then I need to come onto the other side and tuck this under. Oh my lanta. This is going to be very difficult and annoying. Holy crap, there we go. Okay, so you've got to make a flat edge. Got this pain in the butt corner tucked under as much as it can do. So, whenever you're attaching these, you want it to come off of your natural nail onto the nail form as smoothly as possible. Um, I did one on accident that was like really bunched up and it looked so weird. So you want to have just a regular kind of curve. This one's going to be super tricky so I'm glad I'm showing you guys how to do this. Um, you don't want to have a lot of gap underneath over here um, on your edges because then it will be more prone to breaking. So tuck this on there just like that. Okay, next you're going to get the Orly Builder Gel in a bottle and paint it on. And I'm gonna paint this one um, about to where this edge comes off over here just because otherwise I'd probably make a really weird shape. And I want them to mostly match my other hand because these are actually all Orly Builder Gel nails. Both of my hands I had cut really short and I wasn't thinking and that's what happens. So anyways, back to this. You get the Orly Builder Gel, and this is a different kind of texture. It's really, really thick. Even thicker than all of the like base, pro base, number one steps, number two, or number three. Um, and it's got a shorter little brush on it. So I just let a little bead form like that. And then first I put the first glob on the piece that I need to fix the most. So I'm going to attach that right onto that little corner. That was extremely hard to put the sticker on. Whoops. And then you just paint from the other side too and add the builder gel. And you also need a curing light for this. Um, I didn't show it in the video, but I've got a curing lamp over to the right of me. And I'm gonna pull that into the view in just a moment. And I'll have all of these products listed um, in the link below. I've got them all saved on a handy dandy Amazon list too, if you ever want me to send you that. Okay, so I've built that on there. You're gonna grab your curing light. The directions say to cure it for um, 10 seconds, but I actually do 30 on this. So I'm just gonna cure it. And while I'm doing this, I kind of push down on the sticker so it makes it just a little flatter against my nail bed. My free edge, I mean, this part of your nail. This part. All right, before we get into this next step, I just wanted to invite you guys to come over to the 12 Days of Dip Miss event on YouTube that myself and 11 other ladies are, that we put together. Um, it's all gonna be holiday nail art tutorials and we have all shared our ideas so we made sure we weren't doing the same things and you guys are not gonna wanna miss this. It's gonna be so cool. You guys are gonna have so many good ideas. You're definitely gonna be inspired to make some crazy nail art designs. So Carol Annette's in it, Rachel Schmitz, Miranda Novotny, Miranda Price. Um, Marla Chris is doing something, Kayla Moit, I'm in it, Daniela Angel is doing a video, Sarah Albanese, Alina Matthew, my friend Kit Kwong, and Megan Walters. We've all got our own little social medias and YouTube channels and Instagrams and we want y'all to follow us. There's going to be giveaways if you subscribe usually and so definitely you've got to check that out and I'll link everybody down below so you can subscribe to their channels and just wait anxiously for their videos like I'm going to be waiting. It's going to be so, so good. I can't wait to see all these tutorials and videos we're doing. All right, so that's my 12 days of dip miss plug. Now we'll get back to finishing this nail extension with the Orly Builder Gel.
So I've cured this for 30 seconds, it's still tacky. Next you're going to make another layer and this one I'm gonna go just a little farther up onto my nail, my nail bed. That way your extension is secure. So now I just paint on more. Add my little corner that I'm fixing. And then I'm gonna just paint from my nail onto the nail form. And you don't have to be super precise about the shape that you're doing this in because you'll be able to file and shape this once it's all cured. And that's probably my favorite part. It's pretty foolproof because you, I'm left-handed and I'm doing this with my right hand. It's not the easiest, but it can be done if you want to save your nails and make them long again. So now I'm curing it again for 30 more seconds. Next what you're going to do is you're going to remove this nail form carefully. The material that's on here with the Orly Builder Gel is still pretty flexible. It's not fully hard all the way. So if you just yank this off, you can really kind of misshape your extension. So I always open up these little tab things first, peel it off of my finger skin as much as I can, kind of grab it and just wiggle it off. There we go. And so it'll separate. And now you can see my little fake nail I made. So the next part that you want to do is one more coat. It's gonna make it really thick, but that's okay because you'll be able to buff it and everything just like regular. So I'm going to paint my real nail all the way up now and just kind of let it coat onto the edge, the free edge that I made. Because I really, really want it to be secure on my finger. And I don't want it to, um, to risk breaking off. This material is really cool too because it self levels. So if you kind of glob it onto one section, don't worry because you'll be able to, like I said, file it and fix it up. So I, I need a little bit more over here on this weird corner that I made because of the way that um, I put the sticker on, so that's okay. And I've got kind of a little hole right here, but you can fix it with the gel. So I've got that all on there. It's pretty weird and misshapen, but I'm gonna show you guys what we're about to do. So next I'm gonna cure this. This time, this is like the last cure, so I'm gonna do a minute and a half. All right, so now it is fully cured. It's really, really hard. It's really, really sharp, so you've gotta be careful. But the most important thing is now I'll be able to file and shape it. So it's still a little bit sticky because there is a top coat that's needed for this, but I found that you don't actually need it. So what I do is get these little lint-free wipes that I've got, put a little bit of acetone on it, and that just makes it not sticky. So rub that on there. There goes the sticky coat. Now I can file and clip it. So what I usually do first is cut it. And I do this in two parts because I don't want to shatter it. So I only need it to be about this long. So I cut that part first and then I come to the other side and just cut across like that. So here's a little piece I snipped off. Next I can buff this. I buff it first so that I can see where it's all at because it's really, really clear and uh, kind of hard to see. So I'm grabbing the new buffing block for this part. that and now I can file and shape it so let me get resituated oops moving the camera I need to come in on this corner that's let me dust it off so y'all can see 
So here's the weird thing that I made, but it's fine because I'm going to shave that all down and then I'm going to have my nail extension. I'm so excited. This is my favorite way to do this. Anytime I break a nail, because sometimes I just think that I'm like, I don't know, invincible. And then I'll go to work and I'll be like, it'll be fine for one day. And then I'll come home with all these nubs because we're so hard on our hands. And I have to fix them. But this is actually pretty fun. Okay, so let me dust this. And y'all can see. Let me use my little pool noodle. Wrist rest. This is a pool noodle, guys, and it works amazing. Okay, now I just need to come in on this side a little bit and come in over here because I don't want that underside to be too sharp. Okay, and this corner still kind of looks really weird because it's flaring out a lot. Whenever I go like this, I feel like I work at a nail salon. Remember how they would do that to you? They'd go. Anyways, I don't miss the nail salon, do y'all? Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite thing about doing your own nails at home? Mine is not having to argue with them that I have weird fingers. Um, getting to do all the designs that I want without having to pay $5 for every extra little thing. And right now I'm in my pajamas and I look like a trash can and I'm getting my nails done. So, let me know what y'all think. Alright, one more dust off. One more little buff just so I can show you guys the shape more of this. Come in on these sides. There we go, nail extension. Let me put on some prep so you guys can see where my real nail is at underneath this. So after I've done that last step of prep, you can add gel polish, you can do dip powder. This little circle part, it, it'll fade away too. So here's my nail extension. It's kind of hard to see where my real nail went, where my real nail only came up to, but it's right about here. It's, it was pretty short. It snapped all the way into this corner and then right underneath there is where my real nail is. So that's how you do a little extension with Orly Builder Gel. I hope you guys like this video and if you could share it, comment, subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to do more fun things with you guys so send me your ideas too.